just how important the monarch butterflies are. And there are seven things that we can all do to help make sure their population flourishes. This morning, Teresa Parrish, butterfly conservationist, farmer, and author of the book, The Adventures of Johnny Butterfly Seed, joins us via Zoom to tell us a little bit more about it. Good morning, Teresa, how are you? Good morning, how are you doing this morning? I'm great, thank you. I'm really glad to, and excited to talk to you. I'm a huge uh, advocate for, for pollinators. Uh, in mm -hmm. fact, probably at the end of the show today, we're showing the horrible uh, patch of grass that I grew in my attempt at a butterfly garden. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but there, there are Keep things, trying. <laughs> I, I will, I will keep trying. I had hoped for flowers and I got grass. But at any rate, there are things that we can do to get the species to kind of try to bounce back. I mean, we know we're losing bees and those are very important pollinators, so maybe butterflies are going to have to step it up a notch if we want to keep around some of our favorite foods and flowers. So tell us about some things that simple things that we can do at home that will help monarchs. Well, the most simple thing in the world that anyone can do is plant more milkweed. Unfortunately, with weed in the name of the plant, people tend to get rid of them because they think they're weeds. And this is the single only plant that a monarch butterfly can lay an egg on or the caterpillar can eat. So if we don't have milkweed in this world, we don't have monarchs. Okay, it's not one of those things that you can easily procure. Usually you don't go to, you know, to a plant store and ask for milkweed seeds, because again, people assume that it's some type of a weed, but there are places you can get them. You can, and actually some stores do carry what's called butterfly weed. They'll, they'll put it in the shelf. I know that we can buy it at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, one thing about carefully buying uh, plants, of course, the second thing that you really uh, need to avoid is pesticides. And most commercial outlets will, if they have milkweed, it's been sprayed, which means the bugs aren't gonna live on it. So you do have to go to more like a native nursery or order some seeds online. Make sure you're ordering ones that are native. I stress this because there's like 200 different species of milkweed across our North America. So you have to choose the ones that are local to you in order for them to successfully grow. Okay, another thing is uh, lawn spray. I know we all want beautiful lawns and a lot of times that means that we have to spray a lot of chemicals to keep them nice, but this is, could be a, potentially a very, very bad thing for pollinators. This is a horrible thing for pollinators. And I always say, you know, it's really time in this world for us to stop worrying about looking good and start doing good. So you know what, pesticides to keep your lawn looking beautiful actually kill bugs. We don't have bugs, we don't have butterflies, we don't have pollinators for, for bees or anything else. So yeah, it's a bad thing. Okay, <laughs> now, so knowing how to protect these guys and actually doing it are two separate things. So we wanna try to mm -hmm. educate people on the right things to do. And one way is to start with kids. And I understand that you have a wonderful yeah. kids book about how to protect monarchs. I do. The Adventures of Johnny Butterfly Seed is written very specifically to inspire and engage kids at a young age so they develop a passion and they learn information about the butterfly because they are our future decision makers and i want them to be very educated and informed when it's their turn to start making decisions because i do believe it is that next generation of decision makers that are going to determine the fate of the the monarch butterfly Okay, well, these are all very, very important things. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna tell folks where they can find the book and also encourage them to find out more. And for heaven's sakes, take a little bit of a, a break out of spraying your lawn. All right, so, um, and anything else that you wanna add? One of the things you mentioned here was planting a rosemary bush nearby. That Does that somehow keep away other insects that might be pests or, or what does the rosemary do? You know, rosemary, a lot of people don't know that rosemary also can provide shelter. So this is one of the really important things. If you're gonna have a real butterfly garden, there you need more than just the milkweed for the monarchs. You need nectar sources, so like nice, really native flowers, cone flowers, black-eyed Susans, but you also need shelter plants. And the reason being is that the uh, monarch caterpillar typically will crawl away from the, uh, the milkweed after they're done eating, and then they form a J, which then eventually they turn into that chrysalis. They need shelter for this because a lot of different you know, lizards and, and birds and other insects will try to eat the caterpillar when it's trying to do its, its uh, formation of the chrysalis. Okay, all right, well these are all terrific mm -hmm. tips. We appreciate you so much today joining us to tell us more, and we're gonna tell folks how they can find out more as well. Appreciate you, thank you so much, Teresa. No problem. All right, The Adventures of Johnny Butterfly Seed by Teresa Parrish. If you'd like more information or to purchase the book, check out johnnybutterflyseed.com.